Okay, so for this problem, I'm noticing that I have a, let's see, I've got a sample of, here, let me get a little pointer going here. So I've noticed I've got a sample, they're telling me a mean and a standard deviation, so I know this is not about proportions, this is about means, I'm trying to estimate a, a sample mean. Now, um, So then they're telling me what? I've got 17 people, which is a pretty small sample. It's less than 30. Uh, they're telling me the results were bell-shaped. So the results from the sample? Uh, one issue with this is that normal, the conditions that we have to meet is that we have a sample of 30 or more, and it's safe to use a t-distribution, or the parent population has to be normally distributed. What this is trying to do is trying to tell us that the sample result with normal, which that doesn't quite meet. It's supposed to be the population we're, coming, we're, we're drawing the sample from. So, I mean, with that caveat, they're telling us to do it. So I guess there's, really, we probably shouldn't be using the, the T interval because we don't know what the parent, we have an awful small sample and we don't know the parent population shape. So uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna put that out there that, that that's a caution with using these techniques. But then to do it, okay, so now, since it is, we're trying to make a, it's a textbook exercise, basically. So we're going to find, um, let's see here. Let me get my mouse going here. Pointer going. I had to plug in my board. It was out, out, of, out of juice. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the mean, the, thir the 36, Plus or minus, so now we need a critical value of t. So remember, we use the t table, we have to find our degrees of freedom, and degrees of freedom is always one minus the sample size. So we've got 16 degrees of freedom. And I'm also noticing I want this weird 80% confidence interval. So fortunately, Dr. Stevens' z score table, a t score table, shows us an 80% level of confidence, which is good. So then, let's see, let me get a pointer going. So I'm gonna come down to my, uh, my uh, 16 degrees of freedom row. I'm gonna come all the way over to get the 80% critical, the critical value for an 80% confidence interval. So I'm seeing 1.337. Let's see, 1.337. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll put in 1.337, and then we've got a standard deviation of 12, a sample standard deviation of 12, divided by the square root of sample size, which is 17. So then if I come back to my calculator, let's calculate that margin of error. Yeah, let me clear this out. So 3.3.337, oh, it's 1.337, good thing I caught that. 1.337 1, 1 times 12 divided by the square root of um, 17. Now, if you're doing this on your phone calculator, you gotta make sure you're in scientific mode. If you put it in scientific mode, it'll do, do this calculation just like this for you. Uh, so I'm getting a margin of error of 3.89. What do they want? One decimal place, so I'm gonna make it 3.8. So that tells me I'm going to have 36 plus or minus 3.9 as my margin of error. So if I wanted to do that, now I don't have to do that out. The answer for this will be, well, let's try and let's see if I'm, I'm doing this correctly. I should be. I don't see where I'm making a mistake, but you never know with my open math, right? Sometimes it's spot on and... Uh, it says one decimal place, so that's what I'm going to give it. I'll see if it likes it. Okay, good. So I did that correctly to make the computer happy. So that's the margin of error. Now, if we, uh, if we came back here and <clears throat> um, if I actually found this confidence interval, I would have to take the 36 minus the 3.9 and 36 plus the 3.9 and that would give me my lower estimate and my upper estimate. Now, if you do this in your calculator, or you use that Rossman chance applet to find a confidence interval, which is certainly okay to do, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a second, no, not a second, sorry, you're just gonna hit the stat button, you're over to test, now I want a T test. Uh, no, sorry, not a T test, but a T interval, which is choice eight on my graphing calculator. 
and I've got statistics. I've got a mean of, let's see, what do I get a mean of? 36. I've got a standard deviation of um, seven, no, uh, 12. And I've got 17 individuals. And I want an 80% level of confidence. And if I let the calculator do this, see how it's given me the lower bound and the upper bound? If I had done this and I didn't know what the margin of error was, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract, let's see, well, let me subtract right here, does it clear it? Uh, let me screen capture this just so in case I, just in case I lose that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in uh, 39, let me do the upper value, 39.8, 8.8, 9, 1, minus the lower value of 32.109, 109. Let's see, do I have that type in correctly? Yes. So that's two, this is gonna be two margin of errors wide. So if I divide that by two, notice I'm getting, I'm getting my 3.3.9, right? So that's what you do if you don't wanna go through the, the hassle of calculating the margin of error, or looking up the T-score, okay? And of course, there's other my open math uh, questions that ask, have you do that? They give you the interval, they're asking you to come up with a margin of error. And that's, so that's what you do. Um, I guess that hopefully this helps.